Good morning, folks. We've got a ton of news stories today here at Earth and out in space. You're watching a tiny plasma filament born on the limb, tiny being relative as you see the Earth scale. Well, let's begin with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day with the rear portion of the southern coronal hole becoming visible, a bit bigger than it initially presented. It does surround the first sunspot of cycle 25 down on the south, the tiny brightness. It has indeed continued to remain utterly silent during its solo trek across the sphere. Solar wind calmed considerably the last two days, purple plasma speed dropping out, leaving geomagnetic conditions all calm and quiet. Let's go to the weather, where there are still parts of India that have missed the monsoon. There are literally millions of people here depending on government water trucks, which can only meet 40% of the assessed demand. Monsoon is everything in Asia. But the opposite problem exists in the U.S. This is Pittsburgh, where landslides, sinkholes, and tremendous flash flooding shut down numerous roads and highways in the region. The same is already happening in Louisiana, and that's really not good because their weather event hasn't even happened yet. As you might be picking up from the news articles about the upcoming tropical storm, this is not going to be about wind speed. Literally forget tropical storm, depression, or hurricane category. The rain is the problem here, and it's going to be brutal. Evacuations have been underway for over a day already. Let's go out to space next and begin with exoplanet news, or rather, make that exomoon news. They say that combining millimeter and submillimeter arrays and imaging, they have detected an inner planet with a massive, dusty, gaseous cloud around it. They say that is where a moon of an exoplanet is about to form. Perhaps the most important cosmological study coming out the last day was from Holy Cow. And indeed, it's a good name today because it takes the tension between observations and models of the universe to another level. There is now more than five sigma tension telling us that the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model is not supported by our actual observations of the cosmos. And speaking of such things, the black hole that shouldn't be. In another mark telling us that their science is flawed, we find the examination of controversial objects. What we do know is that there's not nothing where they see black holes. Plasma Universe does prefer modeling torus jet plasma nucleus structures and indeed, Today's study, finding an impossibly close and thin disk, tells them that their original ideas about black holes may need some refinement. Last but not least, we are learning more about the electric currents making Jupiter's aurora. They are shining here in x-rays from Chandra. The idea is that they've detected far less interaction with solar wind than they did with the Jovian moon Io. It has a host magnetic connection like Earth does with the Sun, and the flux transfer events back and forth between Io and Jupiter drive those glorious aurora. Of course, this tells us something about the interactions we have with our sun as well. Wink. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Major weather alerts ongoing. In the United States, the foreshocks have reached Washington State. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.